Hi guys, my name is Tony Maritato. I'm a licensed physical therapist. And in a moment, Lauren Meffin, speech language pathologist, is going to be joining me today for an interview where she talks about launching her new course. The course is dedicated to helping other therapists learn about kinesio taping, specifically to treat patients with head and neck lymphedema. Now, Lauren is a lymphedema specialist and a speech language pathologist, so I'm really excited to get her on this podcast so we can start to learn what these services include, what the course is going to cover, and who's really the best client for the service and the best therapist to register for this course. So guys, join me in welcoming Lauren to the show. So Lauren, thank you so much for joining me today. What I'd like to do to start the interview is just Tell us a little bit about you, how you became interested in becoming a speech language pathologist in the first place, and tell me a little bit about the practice that you own. So thank you for having me, Tony. So I became interested as a speech pathologist really in my undergraduate. I actually thought I wanted to be a nurse. I didn't get into nursing school. And my dad said, well, you better figure it out. So I said, okay, let me try speech pathology. And I loved it. I took a neuroscience course at the University of Florida in speech and hearing. And from that moment on, I couldn't do anything but learn about speech therapy. So that was really the way that I introduced myself into this field. Now, your course is specifically about kinesio taping and lymphedema. I had no idea there was any connection between speech language pathologists and lymphedema. Can you tell me a little bit more about how you went from speech language pathology and became interested in lymphedema? I can. So as a speech pathologist, I spent 12 years in the acute care setting. In the acute care setting, we often saw patients who were going through head and neck cancer treatment, radiation therapy. Those patients would then be admitted following or immediately at the end of their treatment, sometimes around week seven for dehydration, difficulty with swallowing. And then these patients were readmitted again at the end of their treatment, sometimes six weeks post the word lymphedema kept coming up. So I made it a mission at that hospital in our community to try to learn more about what in the world and who treats lymphedema. This kept coming up, kept coming up. I kept having to refer, find elsewhere, find elsewhere. And then I said to myself, why don't I do it myself? So I took my very first lymphedema course and I took that course with Brad Smith and he's a wonderful sort of our speech pathology leader in lymphedema. It wasn't enough for me. So about three years later, I took another lymphedema course because I just loved learning. And then I was like, hmm, that's not enough. So I did the full CLT because I just found that understanding lymphatics was able to help my patients with their swallowing, with their voice and their next step in rehabilitation. So you're right. Most speech pathologists don't have an interest in lymphedema, but I loved collaborating with my radiation oncologist and my physical therapist. Now, I would imagine there are carryover skills and benefits to this. Like even if a speech language pathologist is not dealing with a caseload that has lymphedema issues, I know for me in outpatient orthopedic with knee replacements, there's so much that I can bring into my clinical practice from lymphedema and everything that I learn about it. What was it that really triggered you to say, hey, I want to take my knowledge, I want to take my experience, and I want to put it into a course to help teach other clinicians, because you're not even just teaching speech language pathologists, you're teaching other clinicians as well. Right. So what I found is that there was this idea of taping. And so one of the courses I took was head and neck kinesio taping. Now it was talked about briefly in each of my courses as a head and neck lymphedema therapist, but nobody ever delved into it. So over the years, I would continue to kind of gain experience and knowledge from my physical therapists who are really kind of our experts in kinesio taping, even my occupational therapist and massage therapist. And so what I found is that if I can add kinesio taping and create an entire course for kinesio taping, and then I can take it one step further and teach my patients to complete this themselves. This really changed the way that I provided care in the clinic. It changed the way that my patients perceived their therapy. It changed their outcomes. And so for me, a single piece of kinesio tape really makes a difference in their life, you know, with swallowing and with voice. Sure. 
So I know one of the questions that always comes up with new course, new certification programs, new training is, is this a skill, a tool set that is going to be brought into the clinic or brought into somebody's private practice? Is it covered by insurance? Is this something that would be a self-paced service to the patient? What's your experience in your, your daily practice? Yes. So as a speech pathologist here at our clinic at Wildflower, we are commercial providers as well as Medicare providers. This is a service covered through insurance because we are treating the means to the end. We are treating swallowing therapy. We are treating voice therapy. We are doing this as a part of our session, and it also can include manual work. Now, speech pathologists, we don't bill for the manual portion, but I know that physical therapists and occupational therapists do. So those are covered services. If this is something you're looking to bring into your practice. We do have some patients who self-pay too, Tony. And that's what I was going to ask. So if it wasn't always a covered service, because I know maintenance comes into play and we know that yeah. Medicare covers a certain component of maintenance, but then there's also non-covered maintenance. So it is something that could be provided on a self-pay basis. Yes, yes, we do have patients who will reach certain goals. They still find benefits and value in coming to the clinic. We transition those patients to the opportunity for self-pay rates, and most of them love it. You know. So, so let me ask you this. Before I ask about how people can get a hold of you or learn more about the course, can you just give me a, just a very general overview about the course? Like, is it a recorded course that people get access to the videos? Is it taught live? How do you deliver the course? So I'm going to be teaching the course live. I'm going to teach the course live weekly and will be recorded. So anybody who misses it will have an option to watch the recorded portion. Um, during the course, we're going to teach hands-on as much training as possible. I'm going to encourage step-by-step -step instructions. I'm going to encourage that everybody has their roll of lymphedema tape their scissors so that they can follow along. They can complete the actual exercises with us. They can learn the taping right then and there. And there will always be question and answer session at the end of each of those courses. That's awesome. And I was on the website looking at your course launch, your announcement. And I noticed that, I mean, the thing that I loved most that stood out to me was that it's, it's case-based, like you're dealing with real cases. It's not theoretical. It's not imagine mm -hmm. this, imagine that. You've got real stories there. So for anybody who's watching this, who wants to get to your landing page, who wants to see more about the course and what's included and what's covered, obviously I'll put the information in the show notes, but tell us what's the best way to get a hold of you and get information for the course. Yeah, the best way to get information from the course is either to send me an email directly and I can provide that to Tony. You also can find me on Facebook with Wildflower Therapy to learn more about it. I'll be happy to answer any questions. Awesome. Well, I want to be mindful and respectful of your time. I know you're at the clinic and you have probably patients waiting. So thank you so much for first creating the course and sharing your knowledge. There's so many things that I think we almost take for granted that we know and do every single day, but so few people are willing to take the time and effort to package it and share with other people. Thanks for creating the course. And of course, thanks for coming on the interview. Yeah. Thank you so much. I'm excited. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.